Hi guys and welcome. I said I would take you on a walk with me. This is my favorite thing to do. Where are we? We're just on my road. And this is part of my process. I really wanted this year to take you guys into my world. What ticks the woman behind the brand. Um, this is the best thing ever, which is why I love to live outside of London because you don't get as much green and beauty in London as you do out here in the sticks. And people settle in, you know, for the night and they are indoors and can you hear the birds? Yeah, I love the sound of silence and it looks like the moon is out already. Let me take you. The neighbors thinking this crazy girl's talking to herself or to her phone. And I probably am crazy. I always see these bloggers talking to themselves on the streets and I always think, okay, so that's how does that work? But you gotta do what you gotta do because I love following. This is my world. This reminds me of back home. <coughs> I was bored, so I want to show you what I'm looking at. Look at that green. Look at that beautiful. Okay, so what I want to talk to you guys about today is this issue that I was watching a TED talk the other day. Very interesting. I don't know how I managed to stumble on it. Okay, there's a few cars. Nothing can be done about that. Um, I'm going to take you first to the pond where I do my most thinking. It seemed be able to do a lot of thinking around water and then maybe next time I'll take you to a little lake with beautiful swans and I love to go jogging early in the morning and uh, seeing the swans look at this if I see green my spirit just rises okay so if you guys haven't already subscribed make sure you do and if you like this video make sure you press the like button I'm using a selfie stick for the first time and I am not doing a very good job of it but I'm gonna get better I promise okay so little playground for the kids it's so cute oh I don't think I can ever leave the countryside it just takes me home my spirit is at rest when I'm out here so this guy is telling me that uh, he's talking about the fact that the millennial generation, I think there's a 30, year, 30 and unders, the dating is now officially dead. Um, <coughs> that actually in replacing dating is what is called situationships. <laughs> I just wanted to throw my head back and go, you are utterly and completely crazy you know here's the thing situationships have been there since as my West Indian friends would say piggy was a swine or time or eternity or whatever they've been there forever nothing is new under the Sun everything that is has been the difference is you had to explain situationships to people because they didn't have a term for it they didn't have a place to put it because it was wrong and stupid okay I'm not even gonna mess with you and try and give it to you any kind of way it was just stupid okay so I don't know how I would do this walking thing if I was using my Canon camera because it's so bulky I wouldn't be able to sure I'll find a way but look at the ducks look it's just stupid it's stupid and some things need to be explained here's the thing by the time you give something a term look at them I bet some of you are like oh shut up and keep talking we don't care about the ducks we want to hear what you got to say okay 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 so here's what I want to say giving things terms giving giving something a term like a situation ship is simply legitimizing a situation that only serves one party 
and I can guarantee you that somebody is going to comment and say there's nothing wrong with the situation champ and that person is probably going to be a bloke or a guy when I did my video on uh, friends with benefits I had men on there justifying it because guess what it serves them look girls this is what we know we know that men want to get laid as quickly and as cheaply as possible do you guys want to check out my my outfit <laughs> you would have never thought huh i am so misunderstood maybe that should be the next video i am at that point in my life where comfort is so much more important and i always feel that you can get comfort and style all in the same breath you know what i mean okay i live in the countryside people i'm allowed to look a bit funny um so you get into the habit of giving the thing with the millennial generation the younger generation and every generation that will be younger than us is that we have a way of giving things names things that were not a our parents were not able to explain um because it's just how it is so we call it situationships to to state that I am in a situation where somebody is not prepared to commit to me is not prepared if you check out my Instagram I've got a post up there for date in 2017 I'd have loved to author it but I was not the author uh, it was something that I saw on a friend's uh, that a friend sent me and I thought gosh I've got to share this with Cheng as well because it puts it so beautifully and so eloquently and that is the fact that we're all trying a guy will always try and justify let me not say a guy let's say mr wrong because there's some great guys out there and i think there's a misconception sometimes that every bloke is after the same thing i really do think that there are some good men out there but you have to be the sort of woman who has enough standards to sift through the dross and the time wasters and these sort of terms are not acceptable they're not acceptable um because whilst we sort of use situationship as something that we are not happy to be a part of, the reality of it is one day it's going to become as normal and as standard as the way we use dating. So I'm in a situationship and maybe we'll start dating and then we'll start courting and then, you know, for goodness sakes, you know, I remember I was married for a long time. Um, I was married quite young, as you guys already know. And you were just you would date court and get married you know <laughs> and uh, then I sort of when I became single I started hanging out with some girls and they were like oh he hasn't made anything official yet I'm like he has kissed you and it's not official like hello when I was dating a boy when I was young in school <coughs> a boy just had to kiss you and baby girl it was official but what we do is we add another term official or whatever to create a situation that works very well for the person who's not ready to give the commitment to the other person so if i can get as many stages before courtship before courtship and make this person hook this person along and keep them going long enough i will create terms so probably now what we have is whatever it is you're doing uh, then we're not official then now we're officially in a situationship and then we're officially dating now and truth be told is you are doing the very things i mean i'm just going to give it to you straight i even think to be fair that you are probably doing husband and wife i look i am a modern girl i am i try to be but i can't kill the traditional old school chick in me look if you are living together and sharing a home and sharing expenses and having children you are married without the title you are married without the legal <coughs> title and without the i'm sorry to say it but without the the dignity that comes with with marriage look let's face it you know there is dignity in having um somebody say you know what yeah this is what i want now here's the thing i understand the women out there that don't want to get married but look if you're in a situation with a person and you're living with them in your home and you're living like a married couple but you don't want to marry them then chances are you shouldn't be with them there's something wrong there and you're just prolonging your pain you're just prolonging your pain and introducing children and other parties into that pain um 
I, I've heard it all before and quite frankly I am not one to judge I don't like to judge or make people feel like um, the choices are inferior to mine but I have to be honest and say situationships are just another way of using it it's just another hookup term oh yeah that's the train that goes to London oh I'm not doing a very good job of filming it never mind I should really tilt it up there it goes off it goes yeah I hate it when it passes by because it just ruins it makes everything noisy but um really you know I want to say to you girls look if you're in Chengi's world and you're part of my world <coughs> or you're a guy and you're part of my world and you come onto this channel you subscribed and you follow me on Instagram and Facebook then I can't be my authentic self and I can't claim to love you and truly mean to do you well if I'm just gonna do what's politically correct and say the politically correct things and and just join in the rest of the world I've got to keep it real and keeping it real is me saying to you guys that anyone who will not commit and give you the level of commitment you need for you to invest time attention affection and emotion into them is wasting your time I need to break this down look women we don't have all the time in the world we have biological clocks and I know I know I know I'll do a video on that about the biological clock and how much is also got us on the other side of the spectrum of total desperation and madness and and I want to talk about that possibly if I still have daylight I may record a video on desperation but I'm not talking about desperation here I'm talking about realizing that time is far spent and you don't have time for jokers you don't have time for situationships I don't care if you're 12 or 14 or 18 <coughs> or 100 you don't have time for situation ships you don't have time for jokers because guess what every single person that comes into your life takes something away and brings something to it you don't have time for your self-esteem to be knocked and for you to feel worthless because somebody won't commit to claiming you and making you their girlfriend their wife look you've got to be ruthless with time wasters I am I am a like time waster free zone. I literally do not have the time of day to, to deal with people who just want to come and take from me and go about their business and 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 give me a term for it over to situationship. Whatever. Look, I am about you know commitment. I am about um building something. I am about family and I'm about marriage up in here. So if that's not on the table then you have nothing to say to me and if I am looking at you and I don't see husband in you I don't even have the time I'm just keeping it real I don't even have the time if I'm looking at you I'm thinking because look time is far spent we all have things to do and one of those things is not to waste time with somebody who's bringing a situation ship so here's what I'm gonna say to you if you find yourself in a situation or a ship or somebody's trying to mess around with you and <clears throat> and dating is dead in the 21st century let me tell you something it's only dead when you let it die and when you do not allow your standards to speak for you if you don't put your standards before some other people will treat you any kind of way you've got to have your standards you've got to set your standards and you've got to know who you are and what you're worth look you know today my pastor was preaching in church and he said look the value of something determines the price you have to first put value on yourself before you can state a price now to be with me you just gotta be the man that's just how it is for me because i know my value i know what i bring into a relationship i know the value i bring to any man that comes into my life you know he's going to be treated like a king because i know how to look after my man but the issue here is because you are gonna get yourself a queen you better put your best foot forward so i don't have time and i'm saying to you if you're part of Chengi's world and you're about high value and getting what you deserve then girlfriend you have to put that stuff down you've got to put it down from hello look i'm not about joker i'm not about casual relationships i am trying to create a situation for myself um where i am in an actual relationship and this is what a relationship looks like to me you've got to be comfortable to 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 I've got a little doggy in the back some dog walkers yeah part of 
life in the countryside, they're always doggies. Uh, I'm not very keen on them near me, by the way. But that's just from me to you. Set your standards. Put your standards out there. Refuse for it to be the case for you. Don't let these terms legitimize uh, a life that you don't want for yourself. Don't allow yourself to, to just flow into a situation you know you've got to set your standards and you've got to know who you are and if you are in a situation ship it's your fault you're the one that's allowed it to happen and you're the one that can take yourself out of it so dating is not dead in 2017 it is not dead it will not be dead for my children it will not be dead for you because you are high value girl because you're part of Chengi's world and that's who we are so that's from me to you love you lots make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you soon in my next video let me let me know if you guys like these walk ones because i do like being outdoors and i i have such clear thought when i'm out here but this is how i do okay love you lots take care now